Good morning, my dear students. Hope all of you will be doing well. Today we'll do a descriptive paragraph writing as your third guided assessment, and it is carrying ten marks. So your creative writing notebooks with the stationery should be with you. Okay. Let's come to know about the learning objectives to begin the lesson. Can I write a paragraph independently using verbs and adjectives? As you know, verbs are the helping words or doing words, and adjectives are the describing words that describe the nouns. So, is there anybody who can tell me what is descriptive writing? Yes, it describes. people animals places and things in such a way that a picture form in readers mind or you can say it makes a picture with words descriptive writing makes a picture with words you know we, we don't use brush or colors or crayons to draw a picture but we make a picture using words using some effective words remember a good descriptive writing contains all the sensory details that how does it look smell sound taste or even feel okay now it's time for an intro starter activity and we'll do practice to write a descriptive writing paragraph got it so let's describe a banana first can you tell me how does it look yes it looks yellow can you think of something else that looks yellow like banana hmm you may write sun Now let's use it in a sentence. Bananas are yellow like the sun. Here we are comparing the banana to the sun because both have same color and when we cut it it looks like a sun, okay? Children, we use adjectives in descriptive writing. Can you tell me what are the adjectives? Yes, adjectives are the words that describe nouns. Very good. Clap for yourself. Adjectives describe the colors, shapes, and size. They can be the color words like brown. They can be the size words like enormous. Enormous mean very large in size. they can be shape words like round yes adjectives make our writing more impressive and interesting have a look at these sentences the banana was on the table the sweet banana was on the table The first sentence is not having an adjective to describe how the banana looks. But the second sentence says that the banana is sweet. So, sweet is an adjective that is describing banana. Got it? Now let's look at some adjectives and tell whether they describe that how does it smell? and how does it feel we have the words soft slippery rough mushy mushy mean uh, soft and pulpy crunchy cold hard or crumbly what do you think these words tell how something smell or feel feels 
means you are correct. Remember, adjectives can tell us more about five senses. Look at some more adjectives. We have the words bitter, sweet, spicy, fresh, sour, cheesy, peppery and sugary. Do you think these adjectives tell us about the taste of banana or tell us how does it smell? Taste! You are right! Wonderful job! Here is a paragraph. Let's read with me. My favorite fruit is a banana. I like the color of bananas. Bananas taste good. They feel good. I like bananas because they are good. This paragraph is all about bananas. Now let's see what can we do to fix it. We can add a word to say the color of bananas. We can say that how does they taste. We can use an adjective uh, to say that how does it feel, that how, how do we feel when we eat it. And one more thing, we can also not use a word good repeatedly in a paragraph. We can use other words for saying good. Got it? Now let's brainstorm some ideas that we can use in our descriptive paragraph about banana. Let's think. We can say it is sweet like a candy. It will tell its uh, taste that how does it taste. Slices look like circles. We can say bananas are soft. And it is yellow like the sun. Let's see how does our paragraph seems after using all these adjectives. The best fruit in the world is a banana. Bananas are yellow like the sun on the outside. They are sweet like candy and soft when you chew it, when you chew them if you slice them they look like circles bananas are my favorite fruit now it is a better descriptive paragraph because we have used different adjectives to describe a banana we described its color its taste and told that how does it feel and how does it look. All these things make this paragraph more impressive. Okay, here is another paragraph about watermelons. Yes, do you like the watermelons? Me too. Now let's read that what the writer wants to tell us about the watermelons. Watermelon is my favorite fruit. It is very juicy and sweet. It is green from outside and red from inside. It has many black seeds inside. It is a round and oval shaped fruit. It grows during the summer season. It is fruit of vitamins and fiber. It is a big fruit. I like to eat watermelon because it keeps me fresh. In this passage, uh, did you notice something? Yes. Do you remember in the previous lesson I told you that first of all you have to write the title. 
yes first of all you have to write the title whenever you are going to write a descriptive paragraph and here the title is watermelon yes what is the title watermelon then comes main idea main idea mean about what we are going to write the sentence watermelon is my favorite fruit tells us that the thing about which i am going to write is a fruit after that we write some main points about the main idea using sensory details that how does it look smell taste sound or feel in this paragraph juicy sweet green red black round oval big and fresh are adjectives juicy and sweet are the words that are describing its taste green red and black are telling us about its color round oval and big are the adjectives that are used uh, to tell that how does it look and the word fresh shows that how do you feel at the time when you eat it the adjectives help us to describe the things in detail so you can say that the describing words are amazing now it's time for the main activity so what will you do yes you are right take out your creative writing notebooks open it up and get ready the page as you can see on the screen today it is friday 28th may 2021 in the middle you will write class work okay don't forget about the proper nouns yes you are right all of you have written day date and class work okay now come on the next line leave two finger gap with the marginal line and write the topic that is paragraph writing yes you will write paragraph writing and underline it with a color pencil using a scale after writing the topic you have to write the learning objective today's learning objective is can i write a paragraph using verbs and adjectives yes verbs and adjectives make our writing more interesting and impressive verbs are action words or doing words whatever we do is called verb adjectives are describing words yes adjectives are very amazing they are very important adjectives tells the shape of the noun color of the noun size of the noun okay <clears throat> after writing adjective you have to skip one line as you can see on the slide and then come to the question the question is write about your favorite fruit using five senses you will tell you will write a paragraph about your favorite fruit using five senses mean that um how does your fruit look smell taste sound or feel okay so on the next line you have to write the title that about which fruit you are going to write you have to write the title by yourself then you will start writing a paragraph got it i have just written title you have to write the title by yourself according to your favorite fruit got it very nice 
So whatever you are going to write, you will keep these points in your mind. Whenever you are writing a descriptive paragraph, you should use words that help your readers smell, taste, feel, see and hear whatever you are describing. That how does your fruit look? It is round, oval, small, big, yellow, green, red or whatever. How does it feel? Soft, sticky, crumbly, hard, cold, slippery, mushy, mushy mean pulpy or soft, rough or smooth. How does it sound when you eat it? Whether it is crunchy, chewy or juicy. It tastes bitter, sweet, sour, yummy or delicious. It smells fresh, bitter, Delicious, sour or sweet. Then comes brainstorm. You have to brainstorm your ideas that you can use to describe about your favorite fruit. Okay? After that, you will organize your uh, information to describe your favorite fruit. Got it? The first part of paragraph uh, will be the topic. Then comes main idea or the topic sentence. This sentence tells the reader the main idea or what the paragraph will be about. Then what will you do? Yes, then you will write supporting sentences by using sensory details. This sentence gives special detail relating to the main idea. The second sentence also gives an other specific detail related to the main idea. The third sentence gives more specific details related to the main idea. These three or four sentences tell us more about the thing about which you are going to write. And at the end, what will you do? Yes, you conclude your paragraph. This sentence refers to the topic sentence and sum up the main idea of the paragraph. So, in this way, you will write three or four supporting sentences giving more detail about the main idea that uh, how does it look, feel, smell, taste, or sound and at the end you will write a conclude uh, a concluding sentence uh, or to summarize your paragraph okay so at the end read your work out loud and ask any elder that uh, that is at your home to check does your work make sense? Have you put in capital letters and full stops and uh, given f uh, one finger gap or not? Have you used uh, appropriate verb or an adjective? Have you done work in the form of a paragraph or not? Okay. I hope everything is clear to you. And you will complete your work in a very neat handwriting. So, take good care of yourself. Focus on your studies. Do practice whatever you learn on a regular basis. Okay? Thanks for being with me. Allah Hafiz.